It's that bounce beat, rapid footwork, and go-go music. Go -go. And just like go-go music is the official sound of the city, Beat Your Feet is the staple dance of Washington, D.C. So I'm John Pearson III, uh, a.k.a. Crazy Legs, King of Beat Your Feet. Beat Your Feet dance style was started in Washington, D.C. Southeast to be specific. Emerging from Anacostia, created in the late 90s by Marvin Slush Taylor, influencing a younger generation. It was just something, it was just culture, it's just, it just something that's embedded in DC culture. So all the kids were just dancing and there was so much dancing going on around that you felt left out if you didn't dance. Crazy Legs developed the talent and passion for Beat Your Feet, becoming one of the pioneers pushing this style of dance and DC culture that would eventually make its way from the streets in the nation's capital, the Go-Go's and backyards, by taking this piece of DC culture international. We're getting a lot of requests to be trained around the world. I have ambassadors in, I believe, six different countries. So they've been personally trained by myself and my sis, Queen P. Um, we train them for three to four months. You know, it's, uh, we license to dance out now. So there's a, a beat your feet curriculum. <laughs> A dance that evolved over time and what it is today in this modern day, but never losing the essence. You know, it was usually done with uh, focusing bounce. on bounce, right? Um, me and a few of my other peers, the BGP team, we evolved the style and it, it transitioned from more footwork with bounce and swag. The popularity of this style of dance has even influenced their home team. So I sent you know, 10 or 15 dancers over to be a part of the dance team. And that's when Beat Your Feet was introduced. And now, since then, you know, it's been a great part of the entertainment dance team, represent for the culture and the commander. And it's that dedication and hometown support that's being recognized by the city he loves with a mural that he shares with Sugar Bear, a music pioneer and founding member of the legendary DC go-go band, EU. I woke up one day and everyone just tagged me on Instagram and called me and said, it's a mural of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I appreciate, um, you know, that was, uh, that was me and D, because uh, most murals are uh, created when someone passes away, so I felt like I was giving my flowers. I appreciate it.